hi guys how are you so today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how I fry a whole pargy um, I already actually started doing it and I decided to film the video so this is what I have left this is five whole porgy that I have sliced up here well not sliced up slice each one individual on each side and then I have some seasoning in the middle so I decided to film the video and I had one fish left so this is what I'm gonna do for you so here's the whole porgy it's very it's not a big one it's small it's already washed and cleaned I just have to cut it and um, season it up so I'm gonna show you what I do with the porgy this right here are my powder season that I had put in a container to put inside of the fish right here I have my garlic powder some Italian seasoning lemon and pepper seasoning and garlic and rosemary I didn't put any black pepper in it because the lemon pepper is very strong so I left that the way it is so that will be good for that in here is my scallion, my scallion aka green onion cut up with some these are the green onions with some regular onions that I have cut up and this is dried thyme if you know what the green thyme look like this is a dried thyme leaf on top of that I pour a little bit of um, thyme that I had in a container and some Italian season I am going to saute that and pour over the fish when I'm finished cooking okay so yeah that's that so that's my seasoning and these are my fish I have my six fish right here and my powder seasoning so let me show you what I do in my fish process okay guys so guys here's the process here's the fish as I told you it's already cleaned and everything so now this is what I do I slice here and slice here whatever I have left of my powder season which is not much it's the last of it so that's good for me I put it in here this is an old-school Jamaican thing we slice the fish so it's easier to um, easier and faster to cook when the heat hit it the heat hits it all over and so that's why we slice the fish and then I put some on the inside it's not much I just need it I don't want it to be over parent overpoweringly seasoned I just need enough to make it have some flavor see and then I put it here now so I'm gonna fry the fish outside my season is all done I'm gonna get ready I let it sit for about maybe 10 15 minutes to like soak up let me bring it over here so you can see it so yeah I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 15 minutes so it could um, soak up the seasoning and then I'm gonna um, fry them so I'll be back when I started frying them all right guys thanks It's almost there. If the onion had turned brown immediately after entering the pot, the pot is hot enough, but it's not hot enough yet. So I gotta wait a few more minutes. Right now it's hot. See the steam coming from the pot? Fish.
how brown that side is. Let's hope this side is just as good. Not bad. You can have it brown, bright browner if you want. It's possible. Oh, just splash on me. It's possible. But this is good for me. And you just continue the process for the other four fish. And I'm just going to continue doing the same thing. And um, I'll come back when it's time to cook the seasoning. And then I can pour it all over it. But yeah, continue watching. Now it's time to make my seasoning. I'm still waiting for the pot to get a little bit warmer. I just washed it out. I see a little bit of water in it. So as soon as it gets hot, I'll add my water and then my seasoning. my seasoning from earlier So now just let the onions caramelize. I have one piece of pepper, it's a green pepper. I cut it in pieces. I cut a piece of it, so now it's in there. I just have to turn it down. And this is vinegar, um, a little garlic, and the rest of my seasoning from earlier. So I turned on the stove to about four and then I just let it marinate. And I just let it sit there for about maybe five minutes and then just marinate and then I'll show you the finished product in the end. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. So this is what I do now. I have my seasoning here. It's not much. So I just use the fork and I spread it all over it. The time trash I'll take out because I really don't like them when it's the vegetable food, but it looks good. It gives it the food the flavor. This is my finished product. Thanks for watching.